so hello guys in this video we're going to actually start learning about competitive coding and this is actually a detailed plan by code chef which actually gives you all the learning resources and then practice problems to practice that particular topic and this is quite an interesting like page because this is this uh, this is the main syllabus of competitive coding like it covers almost all of the concept that anybody asks in competitive coding so this is actually the fundamental or foundation level after you have practiced all these questions you can further go on to the detailed or advanced section you have four mock test and then the advanced section so in this advanced section also you can practice various problems and that's it so what I'm going to do is I will try to solve at least one problem every day and try to complete this whole syllabus or plan as soon as possible so I'll be starting from basic arrays and this first problem Lee candy this one so in this problem what it is said is that there is an elephant and he is and his friends from zoo of Lviv like candies very much okay so elephant and his friends like candy very much there are n elephants in zoo, zoo and elephant are numbered 1 to n so they will be happy like a ith or kth elephant will be happy if he received a k candies and there are total of c candies in the zoo so what you have to tell is whether all the part, all the elephant or all the candies can be distributed in between these elephants so that all the elephant get happy so you have total number of candies and you have the number of candies that an elephant want so it is quite an easy problem all you have to do is basically distribute the candy and uh, you'll get so I'll write the basic code here so this is quite a easy one so even so if you think like you can do it on your own so it's well and good because I don't think there is much of a task here so including the basic so the input format is it will give you a test case t and for each test case there are two space separated integers n and c and for these n and c's there are n elements of an array so for test case we have this and test case limit is 1000 so it can store that and then c is actually quite big so i'll define ll as long long and i'll make two variables n and c and then i'll input n and then i'll input c and then i'll make an array yeah it can store this also I'll make an array of n elements and then I'll make a for loop 0 to n and in this I'll store the ith element of this array so now basically what we have to do is we have to count or there was no need of making an array too you can straight away count but array would be nice so I made an array but here you can just create uh, element sum equals to 0 and sum plus equals to array i so whenever element i comes actually this array i is the number of candies that an elephant want so how many candies all the elephant want in all in together would be stored in sum so we have to do just a basic check that if sum is less than equal to c 
see what's total number of candy available we have to see out yes else we have to see out no and after everything just return zero so as sometimes compiler fails if we do not do return zero so this is the basic code and this will surely run so check quite an easy problem two line problem because it was the first problem keep on trying it, they will get tougher and if you want to skip the part you can go straight away here like on your desired part i was just suggesting this whole content nothing else the second question is c not i have already opened this here so uh, i'll just tell what the question is saying in this video uh, next video will tell i'll give you solution of this so in this chef likes writing poetry so he decided to write x pages long poetry but unfortunately his notebook has only y pages left in it okay so what chef does is he writes poetry okay so he want to write x pages poetry but his notebook has y pages left so he decided to buy a new chef made notebook and went to a stationery shop shopkeeper showed him n notebooks where each number where the number of pages and price of ith notebook are pi and ci rubles respectively so like there are pi pages in that notebook and it costs ci rubles chef has k rubles right now and the condition is that chef wants to buy a single notebook to write his poetry as he does not want many notebooks to contain a single poem okay so quite a easy one try it i'll give you a hint that if you subtract y my uh, x uh, y from x then that particular constant will will be the number of pages that chef wants and if you get that number of points uh, sorry the if you get a notebook with that number of pages then you can just print lucky chef try to implement it we'll just check the code in next lecture thank you